valuation of land and building how relevant it is in case of valuation of a company so this relevance uh, can come from two angle uh, angle number 1 is uh, rule 11 ua of uh, uh, of the income tax uh remember uh, in case of rule 11 ua uh, the valuation is based on the nav and nav would mean net asset value now really speaking uh, though we call it as nav net asset value but really speaking it is not nav it is adjusted nav and that's where there is a relevance uh, of uh, the valuation of land and building and why there is a relevance uh, in case of valuation of a company more so for the income tax purposes uh, that is because income tax uh, does not recognize uh, the valuation value of uh, the land and building uh, as given in the books so under rule 11 ua income tax requires that there are there is a there is a formula and as per that formula uh, the value of certain assets uh, that would include uh, ornaments uh, that would include work of art uh, that will include uh, uh, uncoated shares uh, also and that would also include land and building so uh, for the in when you are doing valuation of a company uh, especially when you are doing the valuation of uh, shares of an uncoated company the valuation of land and building will need to be done separately and how will that be done so that will be done based on the is the value which is there for the purpose of stamp duty and that value will need to be taken so this is the relevance of uh, land and value valuation uh, in case of you are doing valuation of a company but please remember that is only with regard to uh, the valuation for the income tax when uh, you are doing the valuation uh, using the discounted cash flow uh, in case of valuation of a company using the discounted cash flow uh, there is no relevance of uh, valuation of land and building for the simple reason in the discounted cash flow value of the assets is not the basis for valuation in case of discounted cash flow the basis for valuation is the future revenue generating capacity or the cash flow generating capacity of the company so this is the answer to your question as to how relevant valuation of land and building is in case of valuation of a company